this is a quadratic equation, nothing we haven't done before. 3x squared plus 16x minus 12 equals 0. Now, if you ask me what is a quadratic equation, okay? A quadratic equation is a set of rules. So the example for this quadratic equation is it's 3 times some random number squared, then you add on 16 times this number, then you take away 12 equals 0. When you find the value of this number, when you put that number into that equation I just drew, it has to make it balance equal to 0. Would everybody agree with that? The x just stands for a number that you don't know the value of yet. Okay? So, what we do when we're doing this is we, we, uh, we do a reference number 3 times minus 12, minus 36. Now, two numbers that will multiply to give you 36. I'm going to go for 18 and minus 2. You'll see why in a second. We then change it into 3x squared plus 18x minus 2x minus 12 equals 0. What can we factorize out these two? Anybody? 3x into x plus 6 and then the other one? x plus 6 equals 0. We then get a 3x minus 2 bracket uh, x plus 6 equal to 0. We're then going to get a 3x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 6 equals 0, x equals minus 6, and 3x equals 2, x equals 2 over 3. Everybody alright with that? We've done them before, correct? Alright, Max? Now, can anybody tell me, does the question we just did and the question that's to the right of it have any similarities with each other? Does this have any similarities to this one here? The 3, the 16 and the 12. It's basically the same answer. It's 3 times some random number squared plus 16 times some random number minus 12 equals 0. Whatever these random numbers are, they have to be, they have to equal 0 when you put them back in. We've already found the answer to that question. The answer is 2 over 3 and minus 6. However, in this question, we're not using x to represent that random number that's in the bracket. What are we, what are we using inside the bracket instead? We're using y minus 7 over y. So this means that y minus 7 over y equals 2 over 3 y minus 7 over y equals minus 6. Long story short, do, the, do these ones normally, and then whatever is inside the brackets on the second equation, put them equal to the answers from the first equation. Okay? That's all, and uh, I just had to finish these off now. I had to find the answers for y. So I have two questions. It's like three questions in one. So, I look up here now and I have two different solve questions. Can anybody in the class suggest a way to anybody make them all the same denominator? Any ideas for the same denominator, guys? A tree and a y. A tree and a y. What's tree y y? Okay, tree y squared. Okay, what about the other one? Tree top and bottom. What's seven times tree? Minus 21. And then a y top and bottom, yeah? And that will equal 2y. Bring the 2y over to the other side. We get 3y squared minus 2y minus equals 0. Once again, do the reference number. Reference number of minus 63. Break it up into minus 9 and plus 7. Minus 9 and plus 7. So we're going to get 3y squared minus 9y plus 7y minus 21 equals 0. We're then going to get 3y bracket y minus 3 plus 7 bracket y minus 3 equals 0. 3y plus 7 bracket y minus 3 equals 0. I'm not going to go a bit fast now guys. y equals 3 or y is going to equal minus 7 over 3 when you solve that. Is that alright? Then you got to go up to the other one. Do the same trick again y on top, y on the bottom, y on the bottom, y on top, 
cancel the y's. y squared minus 7 equals minus 6y. Bring the 6y over to your side. y squared plus 6y minus 7 equals 0. Then, do the same thing again. You're going to get y plus 7. y minus 1 equals 0. y equals minus 7. y equals 1. Okay.